What with an Oscar under her belt, and starring in the MCU's first female-led blockbuster Captain Marvel, Brie Larson has got a lot going for her. Larson, 29, has certainly achieved a great deal in her career, which started way back in 1998 when she was just a child, as critically acclaimed Captain Marvel continues to smash the box office, here's everything you need to know about Brie Larson as she continues to dominate Hollywood. Brie Larson's life and career Larson was born Brianne Sidoni des Aulniers in 1989 in Sacramento, California to Heather and French-Canadian Sylvain des Aulniers. as a child, Larson was homeschooled and spoke French as her first language. By the time she was six, she showed an interest in wanting to act. That year, she became the youngest student admitted to the American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco. Because her last name was hard to properly pronounce, she eventually adopted her screen name Larson from her Swedish great-grandmother and from an American girl doll called Kirsten Larson that she was given when she was a child. Her first acting job was in 1998, when she performed in a commercial parody for Barbie, called Malibu Mudslide Barbie, in an episode of The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. After that, she appeared in episodes of television shows like Touched by an Angel, Popular, and To Have and To Hold while her first big role was in Raising Dad, as Emily Stewart, the daughter of Bob Saget's character Matt from 2001 until 2002. Since since her time on Raising Dad, Larson has worked steadily, getting relatively smaller parts in things like 13 Going on 30, Ghost Whisperer, as Envy Adams in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World in 2010 and as Kate Gregson in United States of Terra from 2009 until 2011. She also had a prominent role in 21 Jump Street as Molly Tracy in 2012, but her big break didn't come until the following year, when she starred as Grace in the indie hit Short Term 12. From then on, Larson has been seemingly unstoppable. She had a regular role in Community as Rachel from 2013 until 2014, in Trainwreck as Amy Schumer's on-screen sister Kim, in 2015, and that same year, was awarded an Oscar for her role as Ma in Drama Room, which follows a woman and her son as they gain their freedom after having been held captive in one room for seven years. Not only did she get an Academy Award for her turn in Room, but she also won a Golden Globe a BAFTA and a Screen Actors Guild Award, among others. Now, Larson has appeared in a little film called Captain Marvel as the title character. Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Carol Danvers, is, according to Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige, the most powerful hero the MCU has ever seen. FYI. That includes the likes of billionaire genius playboy philanthropist Iron Man, Thor, who's an actual god, and Hulk, the guy known to smash whole cities when he gets cranky. There have already been a great deal of fan theories surrounding whether or not Captain Marvel will be the one to defeat Thanos once and for all in Avengers, Endgame. That theory has a lot of weight, not only because Captain Marvel is strong AF but also because Larson is officially reprising her role as Danvers in Endgame, which comes out April 26, 2019. For our part, we can't wait to see how it all turns out. Captain Marvel was released in cinemas on March 8, 2019. More, Brie Larson says Captain Marvel red carpet looks are a message of empowerment and owning her body more, Avengers. Endgame will be perfect says Kevin Feige as he teases lots of story and characters.